design and manufacture costuming for performing groups. High school marching bands, the dance teams, the drill teams, the color guards, the flag teams, the percussion ensembles. We also do choruses, we do choirs. Anybody who has a team of five or more people, we can make you a costume. Yesterday, we received all of these boxes from Autometrix, and we have purchased a 32-foot automatic cutting table. It's going to fill this whole area. Every year, our list of clients increases tremendously. But due to the scheduling fact that we can only cut so many costumes by hand, we can only accommodate so many clients. So at this point in the season, we're full and we have to turn people away. So people calling in August and September for costumes they don't need till October sometimes get turned away. We turn away probably 10,000 costumes a year, so we would really like to be able to keep everybody working hard here and the Automatrix table working twice as hard for us. We have so many statistics that it is really hard for us to narrow it down. We're excited about having this machine so that we have a line in the sand of which we can say this is what the machine can do, this is what we know they can do. So currently the way our patterns come to us is that they are printed off of a giant printer that prints out patterns and then someone has to rip them apart, sort them, organize them, drive them over to this building, then we re-separate them into the way we're going to cut them and then the cutters lay them out and cut them one by one. So on the trial runs that we have done, we recognize that it is a, an unbelievable difference. Automatrix explained that they were gonna cut a single piece at a time. I could not understand that math, and I could not understand how taking a pattern that had 20 pieces was gonna be faster than cutting piles at a time. We had a set of 15 costumes that they ran and they, they cut for us, and it took about 21 minutes. And it took us four and a half hours. We're about eight weeks in now. The table came in, has been set up, and we've started running it. We've selected two operators to be able to learn everything. And since then, we have now run double shifts on it. So one operator happens during the day, one at the night, so that we get 15 and a half, 16 hours a day working on it. And right now, we're about at triple what their production was when they were hand cutting. Our goal is for our next season coming up, even though we're only going to be about three months into having the machine, our goal is that we can quadruple what it would be if they were a hand cutter. When we get down to the people preparing in Pattern Smith, we think that really is going to be where we can be four, five, six times from what they're doing right now. It's been so good and positive that we're going to look to get another one sooner or later.